everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 3 and we are looking still on the next topic that is 3.2 specification based techniques and today we will be talking about the next technique which is boundary value analysis. So far we know from the previous tutorials that is from foundation that boundary value analysis is a technique which allows a scenario to be tested strictly on the boundaries by making different values like valid and invalid inputs on both the sides. It is also considered to be stronger technique than equivalence partitioning. has two types of uh, parameter as uh, measurement which is like two point and three point boundary value analysis. So in the following diagram, you're looking at basically a two-point boundary value analysis. Whereas if you talk about three-point boundary value analysis, you would have three values on each boundary. So for more details, you can look up the card. The card will take you to the previous tutorial of foundation about boundary value analysis to understand the same in more detail. Further, let's understand what's there in advanced level and what kind of questions can be asked to you from advanced level. So we have a very simple, a quick example from the advanced level boundary value analysis. A speed controller and reporting system has the following characteristics. That is, if you drive 50 km per hour or less, nothing will happen. If you drive faster than 50 km per hour, but 55 km per hour or less, you will be warned. If you drive faster than 55 km per hour, but not more than 60 km per hour, you will be fined at the same time. If you drive faster than 60 km per hour, your driving license will be impounded or suspended. Now, the speed is in km per hour is available to the system as an integer value that you will be feeding into the system, which would be most likely the set of values identified by applying the boundary value analysis where only the boundary values on the boundaries of equivalence clauses are relevant. So if you see this question, it's a typical uh, question like equivalence partition or boundary value analysis. But when it comes to advanced level, this is how, when you look at the last line, this is how they are going to twist it to confuse you that whether we are talking about boundary value analysis or equivalence classes. So all we need to understand that we already know from foundation that both the technique follows the basic principle of dividing a scenario into equivalence classes. But only thing which varies between the two techniques is one that in equivalence partition we take one test from each partition but in boundary value analysis we take strictly on the boundaries of each boundary not the class specifically but the ranges are created in similar pattern. So in this example as you can see at the bottom the diagram which is created here uh, based on the statements provided to you. So we have less than or equal to 50. Second class is between 51 to 55 kilometers. The next one is 56 to 60 kilometers. And the fourth one is 61 or above. Now, if we know about the boundaries, the dots will present us that what will be the boundary values. And we again know from the foundation level, the values which are mentioned on the top are the boundary values as per two-point system. So all we need to do is in the given options you need to pick the most relevant option which covers the boundary values as per the boundary value analysis for these classes and it's straightforward that D is the right answer which has 50, 51, 55, 56, 60 and 61. Alright, hope that's clear to you. Let's quickly look at another example which could be uh, another possibility to be asked to you during the examination. So this is a different way where they give you a situation, they don't ask you to solve it, but they rather ask you to identify what techniques can be applied. So let's look at this. A system is being specified for use of uh, use by automotive, automotive dealers. The system will provide the ability to configure a vehicle's optional characteristics, for example, engine size, extreme, external trim, color, visualize and the configuration configured vehicle and generate the retail price of the vehicle an existing system can provide a visual model of any single configuration but it does not enable the user to modify the configuration in the same session 
The system is being used as a development prototype for which it is expected that the required functionality can be generated more quickly than working from scratch and time scales have been adjusted for a rapid delivery. Now here in this scenario all we need to target is the very first line where they have given you what are the characteristics of the engine or vehicles. So when you have engine size, external trim, color, you know that there will be different classes. You know that there will be different options for each classes. Like what are the different sizes, what are the different trim options and what are the different colors. So we, let's look at the main question of this particular scenario. Which of the following test case design technique would together give the best chance of achieving acceptable test coverage in the available time frame? Because we are also looking at the uh, kind of you know agile methodology here because you're talking about rapid delivery in the last line. So when you look at this scenario, generally there are two options because they are asked you to pick the two options here. So there, the right answer is B and C, that is classification tree and boundary value analysis. But just for your kind of information, classification tree is still away from our session. We are going to cover that in upcoming tutorials. So stay tuned for that. But as per the boundary value analysis is one of the target. So I consider this question here to be discussed. We'll be taking this question once again when we come to the classification tree to make you understand that how does classification tree entertain such scenarios. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Hope you understood the content and context of boundary value analysis. This is how the advanced level questions or uh, scenarios will be given to you to be asked in the examination. So kindly prepare accordingly for that. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.